It was on the planet Skaro that my old enemy, the Master, was finally put on trial. They say he listened calmly as his list of evil crimes was read and sentence passed. Then he made his last, and I thought somewhat curious request. He demanded that I, the Doctor, a rival Time Lord, should take his remains back to our home planet, Gallifrey. Quest they should never have granted. Time Lord has 13 lives, and the Master had used all of his. But rules never meant much to him. So, I stowed his remains safely for the voyage back, because even in death I couldn't trust him. There, that should do it. In all my travels through space and time, and nearing the end of my seventh life, I was finally beginning to realize that you could never be too careful. It was a beautiful sight. Your kiss was a flame.
Passing. Is he rich? That's where we're going. He better be rich. Here. Hey, I'm not signing anything, mister. Signing? We can't do nothing. Come on, kid. What's the date? December 30th. 1999. straight through his shoulder. No damage. The other two are in his left leg. Look! Two hearts. What? As if. It's a double exposure, Curtis. Let's get these bullets out then. Yeah, this went straight through.
heart's still going like crazy. Well, we'll have to bring in cardiology. Who's on tonight? Amazing Grace. At 300. 300? Yes. No blockages to it? No. X rays. And G. What? Double exposed every time we try. Well, then try again. We're getting another machine up. It'll take another half no, an no, hour. No, no, no. We don't have time for that. We have got to get moving on this. Dr. Holloway, it's Brian. Oh, yeah. Brian! I'm sorry. Listen, I'm on call. What do you expect me to do? Ignore it? No. No, Brian, don't say that. Listen, just wait until I get home. Brian? Oh! Sorry. Probe. Probe. Scalpel. Scalpel. And straight to track four. Track four coming up. Pacini. Madam Butterfly. You're about to do. Stop. Mr. Smith, you're going to be all right. No, I am not human. I am not like you. Nobody like you, Mr. Smith. Please, I need a beryllium atomic clock. This is 1999, isn't it? You can't wait any longer, Grace. No, I'm not human. I'm not human. I'm not human. It's okay, I got it. Try not to speak, Mr. Smith. We've already taken out all the bullets, and so now we're going to listen to your heart and try to find out why it's so wild, and then I'm going to fix it. You'll be fine. Okay. He's under. <gasps> Timing malfunction. The master. He's out there. He's out there. I'm going to stop! Somehow I don't think this man's name is Mr. Smith, do you? You get that feeling? Here we have electrophysiology being performed by one of our senior cardiologists, Dr. Holloway, who will insert a microsurgical probe into the patient's artery. Oh. Then search out the short-circuiting part causing the fibrillation, and just so you know your money's being well spent, we'll blast it with lasers. So, is Brian threatening to leave again? He won't. That's strange. What? Deja vu, where am I? Uh, subclavian. I should be in the bronchiocephalic. Uh, not unless this man's a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I am lost. Let me try something. Massive seizure! Get that probe out of there! I'm trying! Picture there! Damn it! We're dropping off fast! Just pull it out! Come to me! Get it out of there, Grace! No good! I can't get it out of him! Grace, he's flatlining! The probe snapped! It's still in him! all this stuff. There's no identification there, either. Tag him as a John Doe and book him for an autopsy. You want me to bring that kid in? 
Maybe he can help us with an identification. Doctor? Sure. This is no double exposure. Sir? Hmm? Yeah. Come on. Could you just come with me, please? You're the doctor? Yes. Yes, I am. Are you a friend of Mr. Smith's? Yeah. Is he okay? Actually, there were some complications, and I'm afraid he didn't make it. Sorry. It's okay. I'll tell his family. Are these his things? Yeah. I'll take them. Um. Maybe we should contact the family ourselves. No, miss. This will hit him really hard. I'll tell them. You don't know this man at all, do you? Yeah, I do. Then tell me his real name. I gotta go. Wait! Special New Year's Eve? Going to the costume party. Oh, yeah, me too. Who are you going as? Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> All right, cool. Who's that? John Doe on the toe. Oh, we've got a nice autopsy book for you tomorrow morning, mister. Followed by a sauna or a Swedish herbal wrap. What would be your pleasure? 1 a. Hey! It's December 31st, 1999. Party on! Sweet dreams.
Who's there? Find the doctor. This body won't last long. I need the doctor's body. Mm, sense of humor. No more snoring. You don't need a doctor. Come back to bed, honey. My name is not Honey. Oh, well, what would you like me to call you then? Master will do. 
Well, come back to bed, Master. Same guy. Sounds like you saw the guy who stole the body. He was wearing a shroud and a JD tag on his toe. <sighs> Somehow, I don't think the second coming happens here. Right. You think he's gonna go to a better hospital? You know what? I'm going home. Hey, Pete. Stop by psychiatric and pick up some more mind-altering drugs. Okay, sure. our mistakes, do we? What are you saying? Two hearts. No wonder you got lost. Exactly. Or maybe this really was a double exposure. In either case, I can't afford to lose you. Wait, what, what, what are you doing? What you should have done last night. Am I having a bad dream here? I lose a patient, and then I lose his body, and now you have just destroyed the only proof that... That you were careless? No, that I had no way of Stop. knowing. A man died last night because you lost your way. You bet I did. You saw the x-ray. The guy had two hearts. And now without a body or without records, no one need know he was even here. You can't do this. Let me take care of this, Grace. No. Believe me. I know what is best for all of us. But what was he? How can we learn from him? Uh, I've got to find his body. And I have to keep this hospital open. No. No. If you do this, I'll quit. You don't mean that. Night before. Uh, I don't think so. Yes, yes, I think so. I know you. You, you, you're tired of life, but afraid of dying. There was music. Madam Butterfly. You were there. I saw you last night. It wasn't me. I don't know who I am, but I know that you know me. Please go away. Please. You're my only hope. I'll call security. Do you know who I am? I don't care who you are. Leave me alone. Oh, please, you must help me. You're a doctor. Yeah, well. My oath just expired. Stand back. have two hearts. You have to get me out of here before they kill me again. Please. 
Because you have to help me try! I had a bad night. <laughs> Did you want something? What happened to the gunshot wound I brought in? I've got orders to move him. He died. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got orders to move his body. Where is it? His body. Well, haven't you heard? The body's gone. Stolen. Okay, where are his things? The kid that brought him in ran off with them. The Asian child. The Asian child? Bruce, you're sick. Thank you. You're all right. Better, yes. Good. Now we don't have a piece of primitive wiring in my cardiovascular system. Primitive. I don't believe it. He's taking all his stuff. Who? Ryan. Your boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend. Listen, why don't you just have a seat and open your shirt? I want to listen to your heart. Hearts. Plural. Right. Right. He's taking the sofa. <clears throat> Come on, follow me. Now I'm remembering more. Good. Lovely view. Maybe you have selective amnesia brought on by shock. Maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> ah, Da Vinci. He had a cold when he drew that. You're still fibrillating badly. No, I'm not. I remember, I was with Pacini before he died. Name drop. I was, I was, I was. Shh. Oh my God. You see, that's no echo. He died before he could finish Turando. Alfano finished it based on his notes. It was so sad. You have two hearts. Uh, who are you? I was dead too long this time. The anesthetic almost destroyed the regenerative process. Yeah. Right. I I'm going to get a syringe. I'm going to take no, some no, no, blood. No, 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 I want to know what's going Grace, on. Grace, here. Grace, 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 Grace. Don't you see? I have 13 lives. Please. <laughs> okay, you're trying to tell me that you've come back from the dead. Yes. No, sorry. The dead stay dead. You can't turn back time. Yes, you can. I'm not a child. Don't talk to me like I'm a child. Only children believe that crap. I am a doctor. But it was a childish dream that made you a doctor. You dreamt you could hold back death. Isn't that true? Don't be sad, Grace. You'll do great things.
guy from the ambulance? <sighs> Bruce, don't scare me like that. This place is freaky Lee. enough. Chang Lee, that's your name, isn't it? Well, I never. The TARDIS really likes you. What are you talking about, Bruce? I am not Bruce. It took me a minute with the talking and the walking. But I am not Bruce. I am merely inside his body. Oh, yeah. So uh, who are you really? Where is he? Who? The man you stole these things from, where is he? Those are mine now. He's dead. He's not dead. He has stolen my body. But... And I will die unless we bring him back here. You're going to help me do that. Do you understand? Well, what's in it for me? You get to live. These belong to... Brian? Yep. Keep them. Thank you. How's my blood? It's not blood. Mm, perhaps if I walk in them, stretch them a bit, they'll fit me better. Good idea. Let's go for a walk. Maybe you're the result of some weird genetic experiment. I don't think so. But you have no recollection of family. No. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I remember I'm, I, I, I'm with my father. We're lying back in the grass. It's a warm Gallifrey night. Gallifrey? Gallifrey! Yes, this must be where I live. Now, where is that? I've never heard of it. What do you remember? A meteor storm that the sky above us was dancing with lights. Purple, green, brilliant yellow. Yes! What? These shoes! They fit perfectly. Yes. Yes. You know, this is all mine until he stole it from me. He should never have been allowed to be here. You know, I was told he was dead. Yeah, well, that body had died, but now he's regenerated into another one. You know, my body can do this 12 times, but... He's taken most of my regenerations. What do you do with them? Unspeakable crimes. Like what? Genghis Khan. But what about him? That was him. No way. Yes way. Look, I'm no saint, but he is evil, and he's doing it all with my body. I was on the verge of stopping him when we got here. Oof. What do you want, Lee? What do you mean? If you could have anything, anything at all, what would it be? I don't know. A million bucks. <laughs> Only a million? OK, two million. Think bigger. A billion dollars. And what would that buy you? Power. Power. Gold dust? You get the rest when I get my body back. Deal? Deal. Let me show you around. Go ahead. Well, how'd I do that? I told you the TARDIS likes you. The cloister room.
Here is the Eye of Harmony, the heart of the structure. Everything gets its power from here. So how can it help us find him? Well, as you know, it used to belong to me, but now it belongs to him. If we can open the eye, we will find him. Cool. So you can open it? No, you are. See if you can pull this reflector staff from its mooring. This thing? Mm -hmm. You can do it. Good. Now. Look into the beam of light. If the TARDIS really likes you, the eye will open. Why don't you look? You pulled the staff from the stone. Something's happening. Okay. Something's happening. Okay. Something's happening. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I know who I am. <laughs> I am the doctor. God. Now do that again. There's the guy I took at the hospital. The doctor's past life. Doctor? That's what he calls himself. Doctor. The new doctor. He's so young. Fascinating. Uh, see that? That's the retinal structure of the human eye. Doctor is half human. No wonder. What? No. I saw him. The master is here. What are you talking about? He is planning to take my body so that he will live and I will die. Oh. No! He has opened the Eye of Harmony. What is the Eye of Harmony. Wait. Wait. There. We're seeing what he's seeing. I know that one. Ah. I'll take my eyes sleep on, see if Grace, but it may be too late. What's the Eye of Harmony? It's the power source of the heart of the TARDIS. The TARDIS? What's a TARDIS? The TARDIS is my ship. It carries me through time and space. T-A-R-D-I-S. It stands for time and relative dimension in space. Uh, and this master, is he like the devil? The master is a rival Time Lord. The time Lord. Pure oh evil. God. I was bringing home his remains from Skara, where his final incarnation had been exterminated by the Daleks. Or so we thought. You really are insane, aren't you? But he wasn't dead. It's a trap. Don't you see? It's a trap. He wants me to look into the eye. If I look into the eye of harmony, my, my soul, soul will be destroyed. He will take my body. Listen to all Please. those lies. Could you believe him? I don't want to deal with this. Face this. Enough. If the Eye of Harmony isn't closed, this planet will be sucked through it. Grace, I need to fix the timing mechanism on the TARDIS and close the eye. I need an atomic clock. Grace, please help me find me. Grace. 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 Grace! So that's how he intends to destroy me. How? We must get to the doctor before he finds her clock. I know that woman. She was a surgeon who operated on him last night. Well, if we find her, we'll find him. Grace! You just stay away from me! Oh, come on, Grace, please, just let me in. No! Grace! Let me in, we can sit down, we can have a cup of tea, we can talk about this reasonably. Sure, Time Lord to Earth. Yes, that's right, I am a Time Lord. Well, I thought you were a doctor. Oh, so you're a doctor. I am calling an ambulance to take you back to psychiatric, from which you have obviously escaped. Chris, we don't have time for this. 
The Eye of Harmony is open. If I don't close it, get my TARDIS and the Master off this planet, this planet will no longer exist. I'm calling the ambulance. Grace, we have until midnight. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, I'll hold. Grace, I shall prove to you the Eye of Harmony is open. Look at this. Yes. You see, already the molecular structure of the planet is changing. I'm going to need an ambulance as soon as possible. This is Dr. Grace Holloway. At first in subtle ways, but soon in catastrophic ways. I need a bed in psychiatric. By midnight tonight, this planet will be pulled inside out. There will be nothing left. I think you better make that two beds. Doctor, doctor. Come on, she needs an ambulance. Grace. Grace. I've lost 20 pounds. Congratulations. In 20 minutes, it's starting. You can make a fortune in the weight loss business, Doctor. ...about the strange natural phenomena. Since early this evening, Bay Area tides have risen to levels that break all records for this time of year. Flood warnings have gone out along the Napa and Russian rivers. And Grace. believe it or not, in Hawaii, it has even started snowing. Now, you may be wondering what this has to do with the millennium. Scientists say that the freak conditions are due to the very slight fluctuations in the Earth's gravitational pull. Fluctuations that apparently only happen once every thousand years. Here's what our cameras in Hawaii saw. <laughs> I love humans. Well, All of us seeing patterns and things that aren't there. And most fashionable San Franciscans are going tonight to ring in the new year. And of course, you'll be there, won't you? Naturally. Now, didn't you say they'll see a clock getting started? That's right. And you know, it isn't just any old clock. It happens to be the most accurate atomic clock in the world. And it's right here at the Institute of Technological Advancement and Research in downtown San Francisco. So don't go away. Atomic oh, clock, oh, any old oh, clock, oh, clock, oh, the oh, most oh, accurate oh, atomic oh, clock oh, in the world. That must be a beryllium clock. They're here. Excellent. They can take us straight to the Institute. We need to go straight to the Institute of Technological Advancement and Research. You know what that is? Of course I do. What time is it now? Half past ten. D don't worry, I'm on the board of trustees of the Institute. They'll listen to me. Won't this thing go any faster? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Grace, why did you not say you had access to a beryllium clock? I was more concerned about the Eye of Destruction. Harmony! Yes, yes, and the fact that the planet will be sucked through it at midnight. I mean, face it, it's not often one has a time load in one's living room, Doctor. He likes me to call him Doctor. Well, you know, Freud had a name for that. Transference. Yeah, that's very witty, Grace. At least Freud would have taken me seriously. He'd have hung up his pipe if he'd met you. Actually, we did meet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's a time lord. We got on very well. Did you know Madame Curie, too? Intimately. She kisses as good as me? As well as you. I like a truck's blocking all the lanes. There you go. The planet is about to be destroyed, and I'm stuck in a traffic jam. Excuse me. Jelly baby officer? Jelly baby? Just take it. <laughs> now, 
Now, would you stand aside before I shoot myself? Don't be a fool. You with me, Grace? We don't stand a chance! Would you excuse me, please? Grace, I came back to life before your eyes. I held back death. Look, I can't make your dream come true forever, but I can make it come true today. Give me the gun. Thank you. You hit me! What are we waiting for? Well, the road's still locked. This is an ambulance! Right. Then we'll get his body. I think we lost him! Good, hold on! Hey man, when I get all that gold, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't wanna know. <laughs> you kill me. You want me to kill you? No! No, I mean, uh, you make me laugh, man. You're, you're, you're a funny guy. I'm glad one of us is amused. Hey, look, cheer up, man. You'll get your body back soon, and then uh, we're a team, right? Yes, we're a team. <laughs> I can't see him. Sorry, you won't be on this point. Oh, this is Dr. Bowman from London. They're waiting for him. Come on. You'll be allowed in with everyone else. I'm on the board of trustees. Thank you very much. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Institute of Technological Advancement and Research. After dinner, Professor Wagg will invite you to join me to celebrate the official starting of the world's most accurate time for the San Francisco. How are we going to get that on the back of a bike? No, no, we need only the tiniest part of it. People are starting to stay around and just make conversations. So, time travel's possible? Anything's possible. And why don't you have the ability to transform yourself into another species like that? Well, I do. You see, but only when I die. And that rival 
whole time, Lord? The He's master? on his last life, fighting to survive, and the science has shown us over and over in the fight for survival there are no rules. Also, Grace, if I tell you a secret, you must promise not to tell. Oh, <laughs> Professor Wagg, this is Dr. Bowman. He's from London. He was just going to share a secret with us. Oh, yes, um, pro uh, Professor, is there a chance of a closer look at the clock? No! No, I'm afraid that I am the only person allowed up there. Uh, really, we can't just bend the rules of... Mm, no. Uh, would you see our... Grace I'm... says that you have a big secret. What is it? I'm half human. On my mother's side. <laughs> Very clever. Mm. Happy New Year. You still think you must be? Champagne? Oh. Grace. Oh. This is when I wish I had my sonic screwdriver. What? Small. What is it they say? Yeah, they say that on my planet too. I know you. You do, huh? Gareth, answer the second question on your midterm exam. Not the third. The third may look easier, but you'll mess it up. What? Remember, answer the second question. Don't forget. I won't. Now, can I see what's in your hand, sir? What was that all about? Ten years from now, Gareth will head the seismology unit at the UCLA Task Force and devise a system for accurately predicting earthquakes. You mean that, don't you? Of course. His invention saved the human race several times, but first he must graduate in poetry. Look! There's the kid who took your stuff! <laughs> series with. Come on. The master? You're lucky he only got your wrist. Why'd you do that? Liven things up. Come on. Secret, secret compartment, compartment above, above the, the door. door. Great minds think I like. Up you go. It's in a cubby hole above the P. Got it. Why a police box? Its cloaking device got stuck on a previous misadventure. I get like this. Oh, my. Wow. Yeah. 
hear that? Yeah. That's a warning. The TARDIS is dying. This is amazing. It's no good. We don't even have enough auxiliary power to move next door. The beryllium chip, Chris. Yes, Doctor. Careful. Yes, Doctor. This looks pretty low tech. Low tech? Grace, this is a Type 40 TARDIS able to take you to any planet in the universe and to any date in that planet's existence. Temporal physics. Oh, you mean like interdimensional transference? That would explain the spatial displacement we experienced as we passed over the threshold. This, if you like. Yes! There. The eye's closing. <laughs> now, let's see. Come on. Oh, no. What? I have a horrible feeling we're already too late. It's 11.48, we still have 11 minutes. There is no context. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm setting coordinates for one minute after midnight. Why? If this is true, the eye's been open too long and there is no future. I only hope... No! Is this thing reliable? Whatever's happening can't be stopped by closing the eye. Well, how come you didn't know that? I haven't opened the eye before. Now you tell me. Grace! Closing the eye may not be enough. We have to go back to before the eye was open, maybe even before we arrived. This is a time machine. With no power. What? The eye being open so long must have drained the TARDIS. Great. I'm sorry. You must have the power to get back. You must. Not enough. What about all those glorious predictions? All that knowledge about what's going to happen to Gareth, to me, to this city? That must come from somewhere. Think. Wait, 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 wait. Are you any good at setting alarm clocks? No. Grace. Uh Try. Listen very carefully. Okay. We preset the coordinates just as I divert the power from within the eye itself into the time rotor here. We jumpstart the TARDIS. We jumpstart the TARDIS. <laughs> what do I do? Hit the top switch on the console there. The top one. Good. Now pass me the neutron ram. Grace? Grace, the neutron ram. Oh, look, I'll show you. <laughs> This is no time to play doctors and nurses. It's no good talking to her. She's possessed. You? You took my things, where are they? They're not your things anymore. Pretty soon everything around here is gonna belong to the Master again. Again? What's he been telling you? When he gets his body back from you, I'm gonna be rich. Do you believe it? Why shouldn't I? I suppose he neglected to mention that there won't be any place left to spend your money. Which is why we have no time to waste. But time to change. I always dress for the occasion. Well, I'm glad to see that you are aware of the gravity of the situation. I never liked this planet, Doctor. Well, that's good, because any minute now it shall cease to exist. What's the time? Time enough for me to get my body. Get out of here and take Lee with me. Lee is the son I have always yearned for. Oh, please. Grace, put it on him. I suspect you know how. Lee, this is my TARDIS. This is my eye and I am in my own body. The Master has run out of all his life. Now he plans to steal mine. That's the truth. Look at Grace. She's possessed by evil, not goodness. This won't hurt much. Life's work. 
Simple. Lee is human, and you are only half. Lee, open the eye for me, please. Mr. White. Mr. White. Ladies and gentlemen, in three minutes, the world will enter a new millennium. And with it, a new standard of accuracy will come to how we measure time. Lee, this is your last chance! This is my only chance. He's right, Doctor. There's nothing for him here. No family, no gangs, only death. But with me, he gets to see the universe. This is his last chance to stay alive, and you know it. What do you know of last chances? More than you! I have wasted all my lives because of you, Doctor. And I will be rid of you. All your lives! Didn't you tell Lee I'd stolen your lives? Lee, he's lying! He's used all his lives, now he wants mine! Like I told you, this is my TARDIS! This is my body! Don't believe me. Open the eye. He said it himself, Lee! He's wasted his lives! All of them! Open the eye! No! You lied to me! Mistaken in her present state of mind, that won't work. Her eyes aren't human anymore. Watch. <sighs> See, now they're human. <laughs> no, Grace! Close your eyes! Too late! <laughs>
before the eye was open, maybe even before we arrived. Alarm, alarm clock. Think alarm clock. is dying, Master. Doctor, I have your things. Hello, Grace. Well, how does it feel? It's all back to It 
you see that? What a sentimental old thing this TARDIS is. Well, congratulations. You've both been somewhere I've never been. There's nothing to be scared of, Doctor. I'm glad to hear it. Did we go back far enough? Either that or I'm talking to a couple of ghosts, and I don't believe in ghosts. So, uh, where's the master? Indigestion. So, let's see where we are. There. The future. Wow. Look over there. On the other side of your galaxy, that's home. Gallifrey. 250 million light years away. <sighs> that's a good 10 minutes in this whole thing. <laughs> so, where are we? December 29th. Do you want to get off here? I don't think I could live through that again. Uh, I definitely wouldn't live through that again. Reason enough. Should be. Um, your things. <gasps> My sonic screwdriver, thank you. <laughs> and uh, these two. Please keep. Really? Yes, really. I better go before you change your mind. Blake! Next Christmas, take a vacation. Just don't be here. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Doctor. See you around, Grace. Happy New Year. There you go, interfering again. Uh, Grace, something you should Don't know. Don't tell me. Why not? I know who I am. That's enough. I'm glad. Come with me. You come with me. Me come with you? Yes. Me come with you? <laughs> it's tempting. I'm gonna miss you. How can you miss me? I'm, I'm easy to find. I'm the guy with two hearts, you know? That's not what I meant. Doctor. Oh, no, thank you, Doctor.
Right. Where to next? Not again. Oh!